So this simulation shows a neutral hydrogen atom in the middle of two charged plates. Now, <laughs> um, the plates are supposed to be neutral right now, which means they are not charged either. And so by doing that, we can get a really good look of the structure of this neutral hydrogen atom. In the middle, we have its nucleus. Um, hydrogen has a single proton in its nucleus. You'll probably notice like there's no neutrons in there, and that's okay. Like, don't freak out. Remember, neutrons don't have any effect on the charge of an atom, nor the identity. So it's okay that hydrogen doesn't have a, neut a neutron. Um, but we've, we've got its proton, and then you can see this electron cloud that surrounds that nucleus. And these like flashing red dots represent the individual electrons, but we know from the probability model that the electrons really could be anywhere within that electron cloud, right? Now here's what we're going to do with the simulation. We are going to charge some of these plates. We're going to make them either positively charged or negatively charged. And we want to see what happens to the distribution of electrons in this electron cloud as we charge those plates. So let's start on the left side. Let's make the left side positively charged. And let's make it like heavily positively charged. Like let's max it out, right? What do you notice about the electron cloud that surrounds the nucleus of our hydrogen atom? Let me do that one more time. Let's start out at neutral. Notice that the electron cloud is rather symmetrical around the nucleus. As we become more and more positively charged, what do you start noticing about that electron cloud? What you should notice is that the negatively charged electrons from that electron cloud are attracted to this positively charged plate. And so we say that there's a shift in the electron cloud towards the positively charged plate. Now let's go back to neutral. Here we are. We've got our pretty standard average hydrogen atom. The electron cloud is rather circular and symmetrical at this point. Um, what would happen if we made that plate on the left negatively charged. Notice what's happening to the electron cloud and now we've maxed it out. What you should be noticing is that the electron cloud has now shifted away from that charged plate. Why would that happen? Well, if we think about it, we have a negatively charged plate. We have negatively charged electrons. They are going to repel each other. And so that's why we see this shift in electron cloud away from that charged plate. Negatives and negatives are going to repel. If we bring it back to neutral, then we come back to our normal symmetrical electron cloud.